Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 41 for our PCNSA series. So I've already covered about the lab uh, which we have done it for Ike V1 and I have explained about the detailed steps. If you have not watched that, I will link them into I button. Today what we are going to understand is how can we configure Ike V2 side to side VPN and how can we configure phase 1 and phase 2 policies it is basically similar there are few options that needs to be changed not few only one or two options that needs to be changed and it will get to IV2 now to understand uh, through the Wireshark capture like uh, we'll analyze the traffic and we'll see how many messages are basically uh, getting exchanged during the VPN formation and also we are going to see so basically we are going to verify the VPN whether it's up or not uh, we are going to see and we are going to see that option I will request you to please watch this video till the end also I will request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me So friends all this uh, mentioned uh, tasks are uh, from the lab and uh, we are going to hit the lab and we'll understand the topology basically i'm using the same topology guys if i want to show you uh, what we have done it for iv version 1 okay there are one changes that we have to do it okay i'll but i'll mention all the points what needs to be do to configure Ike version 2 okay i'm not going to miss anything any any of the steps okay now as just wanted to update you that i have already configured the ip addresses on the interfaces okay on the pcs interfaces and other firewall interfaces as well right and also we have configured the routing part so i have given a default gateway here okay and here also default gateway uh, sorry default route not gateway uh, pointing to this isp and isp is all also configured with this particular ip address okay and uh, apart from that we have already configured the vpn we are going to change some of the uh, options okay apart from that we are not going to do any other things okay so let's go get into the dashboard of Palo Alto firewall both the Palo Alto firewall okay friends let's log into Palo Alto firewall both the firewalls and I'll show you how we can do the configuration for Ike version 2 okay so first of all I just wanted to show you that I have already assigned the IP addresses and if I just wanted to show you the routes we have a default route pointing to the interface one slash two as you can see over here and after that we have to configure the ike policy so here we are defining the phase one policy i'm using the default policy over here uh, you can use by adding a new policy you can define the group and multiple groups multiple encryption um, encryption algorithm authentication algorithm you can basically mention it over here same you can do for phase 2 as well uh, the same the i'm going to use the default one but if you want you can use it from your side as well right now in ike gateway here we are going to define who will be the peer and in local firewall which interface from where i have to activate the vpn or how i will be initiating the vpn traffic so from this firewall point of view one slash two is the outside interface and that is connected to isp so we are going to activate on one slash two okay and the version that we are going to use is version two okay and apart from that we just need to uh, configure the peer ip address and the pre-shared key this is also the local identifier if you go to advanced options like these are the options where it can become a responder it cannot become an initiator in this particularly and if there is a NAT device you can basically activate the NAT T over here 
and in ike v2 you just need to mention the profile that you're using so we are just using the default profile okay and this is again dpd guys so let's continue this i will show you the ipsec configuration now in ipsec configuration you don't have to do much you have to create a tunnel then you have to select auto key otherwise you have to do so many keys over here which is very difficult to do and then you are going to call the ike site 1 site 2 which you have created just now and all for ipv uh, ipsec like the phase 2 policies i am also using the default one as i said okay now for further in this particularly if you want to have a gre gains capsulation or toss header that needs to be copied from uh, private to the public one you can also do that even you can do a tunnel monitoring as well and then you are going to define the local i local ip address or local subnet and remote subnet so we have 10.0 and 20 dot is a remote so 10 to 20 right and here i am not specifying any protocol specifically because uh, i can control over the policy so i'll go to the security policy and i'm going i have defined both ways policies because as this is a private network the traffic will be initiated from uh, site 1 to site 2 and site 2 to site 1 so i have defined everything okay now in other firewall same ip address we have to define the default route then ike phase 1 policy phase 2 policy and here as well we have to define as ike version 2 okay and apart from that we don't need to do any changes over here okay and in ipsec as well we are not doing any change in the proxy ids we are just defining 20 to 10 okay and in the policy side as well we have defined both ways policy now this can be restrictive uh, as the request whatever uh, that needs to be allowed from one side to another side you can basically mention that and accordingly you can mention in the policies as well so let me commit all this configuration okay and we are going to test with the pc that we are having we have already uh, we have tested the old uh, tunnel so we are going to test it now now before we do the testing i just wanted to capture some of the traffic so let's do that so capturing the one slash two traffic and just wanted to show you how it looks like okay so let's commit should happen successfully this is committed successfully this is also committed successfully i will go back here so let's initiate the traffic and i can see some of the traffic over here as you can see now it's esp traffic okay now as you can see uh, we have four messages as i have mentioned in the theory class that uh, we will be having only four message so i key essay where you will see i guess i will just make it a little longer uh, okay 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 i'll just put it like this so if you go to internet security payload okay, key exchange and security so in the in this particularly the key exchange also happens as well as the exchange of those policies also happens over here uh, so this is the key exchange that you can see mm -hmm. uh, i guess in the proposal you will see uh, the transform and the proposal you have five types of proposals over here okay so you will be seeing over here all those proposals like whatever the policy that is configured here that will be sent to that 
and uh, then you can see the reply from there and after that it will be encrypted traffic so first second will be clear text and after that everything will be encrypted okay and after that once this uh, gets finished the phase one configuration like the phase one uh, uh, negotiation then it comes to phase two okay this will be also a kind of a response and a request and after that the data start going with the esp traffic as you can see okay so in this particularly let's try to go udp stream we will not be able to find anything okay so this is how i just wanted to mention here that ike version 2 has four messages okay first and second will be clear text and three and four will be encrypted one and fifth and sixth will be the phase two messages so in six messages the whole ike like the tunnel gets established and after that the data will start going but in case of ike v1 it was six message for phase one and three message for phase two so total nine messages were there in ike version two the security has been strengthened and also the speed has been also but it was lacking in ike version one so if you want to go further and try to understand about ike version two i will request you or maybe in lot of organization the implementation of ike version two is more nowadays okay so you can have a look and try to configure this and how can we verify whether the communication is happening or not let's go here and check into the network ipsec as you can see it has been so mode is i version 2 as you can see and in version 2 you can see the in caps and decaps is also happening so if i want to initiate some traffic i can initiate the traffic this side as well as if i want to initiate some traffic from other side so pinging 192 168 10.1 and it is pinging so both ways the traffic is basically pinging and encapsulation and decapsulation is happening okay so this is all about today's session guys so this is what i wanted to cover thank you so much for watching till the end and if you have any suggestion for my video you can reach out to me uh, through instagram or facebook messenger or you can send me an email or you can comment down below in this particular video if you have any questions if you have any concern you can put me uh, in the comments that what kind of issues that you guys were facing or you can send me an email i'll try to solve and reply you there are so many emails come so i if i miss some of the emails i'm really sorry about it guys thank you so much for watching and i will request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because there are so many videos that is coming in this year so thank you and i'll see you in the next